when it comes to public works, where would we be without clean water? Nowhere. Dead. So we are here and we are meeting Ellie Terrigley. Is that one of the nicest names you ever knew? Ellie Terrigley from Clean Water Services. She also has the prettiest graphic at the entire fair. And I'm sure you'll see it on your television screen. And Ellie, explain to us how this graphic helps us understand our watershed. Well, I think it's really important, Anne, because the Tualatin River watershed um, covers a lot of county, or one county in Washington County, but covers a lot of cities. And so sometimes it's hard for folks to understand exactly how they're connected to rivers and streams. And we're lucky. And creeks. And creeks, creeks all those creeks. brooks, whatever you want to call it, tributaries if you're fancy. Um, but it's really important to, for people to understand that we're all really near to a stream and we all live in one big watershed. So the things that you do in your backyard affect you know, your neighbor's yard and affects the whole entire watershed and all of the river water. So it's a really great representation showing that there, we're so blessed to have all this water, but also it's up to us to take care of that and be a steward and, you know, try to keep chemicals out of the water and off the streets. So and I should have said, you are not the drinking water people. Correct. You are the agency that cleans up after us. Yes. So you know dirty water yes. and you make it clean. Yes. Right. Okay. So tell us some of the things you want us to know. So um, when when, it's, when talking about wastewater, you know, our job is kind of, we treat those things that's out of sight, out of mind. Once you flush the toilet or water goes down the drain in your sink, a lot of people don't ever consider what happens after that. And so we have, you know, many, many miles of pipe that carry that water to one of our treatment facilities, and we have a very long process to clean and treat that wastewater. So it's really important that we do that. And we clean the water from our treatment facilities are actually cleaner than the water in the river itself. And once we're done cleaning that water, it goes back back into the river. So that's really important to know also. The reason the water has to be so clean is because the Tualatin is a small, kind of slow moving river. And so that water has to be really, really clean that we put back in there. So that's really important too. So what's this do the duty business? So we have a campaign right now. Um, it's actually called Join the Cycle. And the whole idea of the campaign is to get people to know that everything they do has an effect on water. So whether it's do the duty, which is picking up after your pet to keep that waste and bacteria and E. coli out of the water, off the street, out of the storm drains, that's one thing you can do at home um, with your pets, with your family. And another thing we talk about is cutting the chemicals. So in your yard, when you're fertilizing, maybe try to use fewer chemicals or use compost instead of something um, that might have more chemical content in it. And also one more thing that we talk about is canning the wipes. So um, one thing that we're seeing at the treatment facilities is a whole bunch of wipes are getting stuck in the pump stations and at the screen where we take some of the waste out once it gets to the facility. So if you do use cleaning wipes for anything, it's better to throw it in the garbage than it is to flush it down the toilet because it's causing clogs and backups and that's really expensive and time consuming to fix. So we want to, you know, those are the three things we're focusing on right now. Well, we were talking dirty water, and now we're talking clean water, the drinking water that is provided to so many of us in Washington County through the Joint Water Commission. And we have with us Hannah Hayden and Tanya Bilderbeck, and Tanya is going to explain to us about safe drinking water. Now, Tanya, this Joint Water Commission, who's, who's included? What, tell us the story. The Joint Water Commission is actually made up of five agencies in the Washington County. It's the City of Hillsborough, who's the managing agency for the Joint Water Commission, Tualatin Valley Water District, the City of Beaverton, the City of Forest Grove, and the City of Tigard. And where does the water come from? The water comes from Hag Lake and the Barney Reservoir. Oh, great. And in that uh, graphic we saw of our watershed, those were very high up. They're, they're Barney Reservoir, that's almost up in the mountains. Mountains, isn't it? Right. And Hag Lake is up in the Shehalem Mountains, I think. Um, Hag Lake is just right in Forest Grove. Yeah, but it's right. up it's up right. there. Okay, so go ahead. What do you do with, how do you get this water to us? Through the transmission lines. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and then it goes to the water treatment plant for processing, and then it's shipped through transmission lines throughout the Washington County to the different agencies, and then eventually to the residents. Okay. And what kind of treatment does it get? It goes through um, I mean, does it get like chlorine or fluoride? Or? No, we don't yeah. fluoride. Not all of the agencies fluoridate. There are pump stations within individual um, agencies that will fluoridate their water. It's sort of local choice. Right, yeah. yeah. 
And the city of Hillsborough does not fluoridate. Okay. All right, so what are you proudest about? Um, we're really proud of our water. We've got great tasting water. Um, we've won some recognition on the quality of our water, the taste of our water. Um, we have great conservation programs going right now, and we're also involved in the Toilet and Basin Water Supply Project. Oh, tell us about that. That is um, a partnership of the Joint Water Commission, the Tualatin Valley Irrigation District, uh, Clean Water Services in Washington County, looking at um, expanding the dam for to meet the future demands of... This is the Scoggins Dam at Hag Lake? Correct. To raise it? To raise it, yeah. yes. Okay. Um, our uh, population is expected to double by 2050, so we need to have more water to meet those demands. Not just residential, but also uh, like high tech. Commercial, and, right, 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 yeah. right. And the Genentechs and Solar right. Worlds and all those people, they all need Yeah, we're expected to need about 16 billion gallons more of water, so...